without doing any historical research, I'm going to just tell you what I grew up knowing. In Idaho, we have a large Basque population. That's people that came from the corner of Spain and Italy in a country called, well, the Basque. And they migrated here to the United States and they came to Idaho and a lot of them became sheep herders. And one of the beautiful traditions of the Basque, and they have a lot, um, is that their sheep herding camps, they have these, these really cool camper trailer things. Um, they've got a domed arch, no electricity, no water, no power, very rural, but everything you need to live out on the range with your sheep. And in Idaho and a lot of places here in the United States West, we have a lot of BLM land, Bureau of Land Management. And that land can be utilized by the sheep herders and cow farmers and others to graze your animals. And I have passed, I'm in Utah right now, and I have passed three different sheep herder campers. And I, I really wish I knew their real name, but I can't come up with it right now. And there's no cell service, so I'm going to go with it. Um, it just brings me joy, and I'm not really sure why. Just people out there completely, they had their horse, maybe, dogs for sure, and a whole bunch of sheep. And that's their life during the spring and summer and fall until they bring the sheep in to be sold at auction or shared or whatever they do with that particular herd. And I don't know how hard, how large the herds could get, but I've seen sheep mm, coming through town. There's a, a, a festival that happens in northern, well, mid-central Idaho. Um, and the whole town is just in, inundated with sheep and it's just it's so cool <laughs> and all the dogs and the all, dogs all uh, respond to whistles that their um, masters have to ring them to do and the teamwork that they do it's just it's just really cool but um, yeah I've seen three shepherd wagons out here so far and I think it's a gorgeous thing to be out here doing what you want to do um, in the simplest way. I live on the road, um, as you probably have learned by now, and I like my water, and I like my power, and I like my flush toilet, and that's just part of my choice and my, um, what's the word? It's, it's not, uh, just a minute, let me think about the word privilege. It's my privilege to be able to live on the road, come and go where I want and where I am needed. And as long as I've got fuel for the vehicle, a little propane to keep me warm at night and cook my food and access to fresh water, I prefer to be off grid. I prefer not to be plugged in. But I have two satellite or two uh, solar panels on my roof and I have an inverter so I can charge my phone and I can use my CPAP and things like that. I can even run my sewing machine. And it's, it's a privilege that I get to do that. And I wonder if maybe those shepherds feel like it's a privilege to be out there sleeping under the stars every night, communing with nature in the most intimate of ways. Um, just a thought. <laughs>